వన్ దిస్ ఇస్ డాక్టర్ చిరంజీవి మనకి ప్రొఫెసర్ అండ్ హెడ్ ఆఫ్ డేటా సైన్స్ అండ్ సైబర్ సెక్యూరిటీ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఎంఎల్ఆర్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ టెక్నాలజీ హైదరాబాద్ యాజ్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ డేటా మైనింగ్ వీడియో లెక్చర్ సిరీస్ ఇన్ ఇన్ దిస్ లెక్చర్ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ ద టూ రిమైనింగ్ అట్రిబ్యూట్ సెలెక్షన్ మెజర్స్ దోస్ ఆర్ గెయిన్ రేషియో అండ్ ద గిని ఇండెక్స్ సో నెక్స్ట్ అట్రిబ్యూట్ సెలెక్షన్ మెజర్ ఈస్ అ గిని ఇండెక్స్ సో లెట్ ఎస్ క్విక్లీ సీ దిస్ what is a gini index how it is uh, different from the the previously discussed measures like a gain ratio and information gain a gini index is used in a cart that is classification and uh, regression trees using the notation that is previously described so gini index measures the impurity of d how impure like suppose if you would select a particular partition uh, particular attribute to partition the set of tuples then we will calculate the impurity so based on that we would select the attribute so here a data partition or a set of tuples the impurity right would be calculated that equal to 1 minus sigma i equal to 1 to m pi square where pi is the probability that a tuple in a d belongs to a class ci and is estimated by the term cid over the d so the sum is computed over the m classes we have to assume that there are m classes in this data set so the probability is that is the probability that a tuple d tuple in the d belongs to the that particular class ci so the gain the gini index considers the binary split for each attribute so what do you mean by this binary split it is completely different from the both uh, information gain and the gain ratio so here let us take uh, the attributes from the data set like what are the attributes we have like uh, if you would select an attribute attribute income attribute income so then it has the three different categories unique values i, I would say unique values high low medium high low and medium so here it is going to select the binary split for each attribute like for example it is going to select like suppose the high comma low and the remaining all right and the remaining all would be split into the another partition or it would select the high into one partition that means the set of all attributes which uh, uh, have the the value under this income as a high would be partitioned as one and the remaining attributes would be partitioned as a another so for example and in this case so how many right how many subsets would be possible like suppose if an attribute has the the three different uh, unique or uh, unique values under that particular attribute or if there are n unique values so let us try to understand and, and generalize 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 this for example let us take the income attribute and or let us take a, an attribute which is a and there are set of possible values for this attribute let us say a1 a2 a3 and so on a v that means there are v unique values unique values like the income attribute has three unique values high low and medium so if if you take a, any attribute a and if it has the v unique values and there are 2 to the power of v minus 2 subsets 2 to the power of v minus 2 subsets would be used to calculate the gini indexes 
So how we got this 2 to the power of p minus 2. So the power set like suppose there are a, b, c items, a, b, c items, then the set of all combinations over this set that is that is a, b, c, a, b, a, c like these are the possible combinations. So in this it will also contains an empty set and also empty set and also empty set that means no elements and a set with all the elements like suppose here in this case a b a b c so and if both the both the subsets like empty set and uh, the a set with uh, all the attributes would not uh, partitions the database would not partition the data set in d so that's why and these excluding these two excluding these two like suppose if there are five number then two to the power of five the set of all possible combinations so in this it these all possible combinations also include the empty set and also the the power set so once we exclude this because this cannot partition because if you would select if you include the attributes a b c then the whatever the data sets in this data will comes under one partition the other partition would not have any or uh, tuples so that means zero so then th that's why it is not selected here and similarly the empty there is nothing so there is no attribute right to partition the data set so that's why we have to exclude the these two one is empty set another is a power set so that's why so these many like 2 to the power of if there are v unique values under any attribute let us say here we have the three unique values so then it will become like 2 to the power of 3 minus 2 2 to the power of 3 minus 2 number of uh, attribute subsets need to be selected here that is used to for bind the split and then we'll measure the guinea index then we select the best attribute. So if your binary split on A partitions the D into the D1 and D2, the guinea index of the D given partitioning is will be calculated as this one. Okay, this is the partition one information D1 and this is D2. Like in this case, the guinea, guinea of D1, and this gives the the tuples belongs to that particular partition and these are the total number of part, uh, tuples in the data set and similarly the number of tuples in that another partition and the total number of uh, tuples in the entire data set so this is the way we calculate suppose if there are a uh, five so then we have to calculate like if the partition like let us take income that we are going to see here as a part of numerical examples. So for each attribute, each of the possible binary split is considered. So for a discrete valued attribute, the subset that gives the minimum guinea index for that attribute would be selected as a splitting subset. Okay, the subset that gives the minimum guinea index, this value, which subset gives the minimum guinea index that would be selected as a splitting subset okay the subset would contain one attribute two attribute or uh, v number of attributes but v number of attribute that that we are not going to select so less than one that means v minus one like suppose if there are five attributes five attributes so an attribute a uh, subset may have one attribute one attribute or a single single attribute or a subset maximum maximum number of uh, attributes in a subset would be 5 minus 1 let us see and that is for the con uh, discrete value attributes but whereas continuous valued attributes each possible split point as we already discussed this split point would be written by the 
the set attribute selection method that will that will be considered for the continuous random variables the strategy is similar to that described earlier for the information gain where the midpoint between the each pair of adjacent values is taken as a possible split point the point giving the minimum guinea index for a given that is for continuous values attribute would be selected as a split point of that attribute So recall from uh, that for a possible split point of A and D1 is the set of tuples in the D and satisfying A split, sub, a split point and D2 is the set of tuples D satisfying that is A greater than split point. So the reduction in impurity that is like the, the, the tree construction process when we when the tree is growing further and further and further. The, the purity should be improved or the impurity should be minimized. So here the guinea index value would be calculated as the guinea. This is average guinea index of the data set and the guinea index of that attribute subset. So the attribute that maximizes the reduction in impurity are equivalently which has the minimum guinea index would be selected as a splitting attribute. So the attribute and either it's a splitting subset that is in the case of discrete value splitting attribute or in the case of a continuous value splitting attribute, there we select the split point together from the splitting criteria. So let us again take the same example data set here, how we would calculate this guinea index. And this is a, a guinea index for the data set if it has m class labels and the pi is the probability that a particular a sample or an attribute uh, sorry particular sample or a data point is belongs to the a class so and this is the guinea index of the d that equal to 1 minus and this value. So, how many classes in this data set? And this is the target class label. Under this class label, there are two yes and no. Okay. So, here there are nine yes, that means nine tuples among these 14 tuples. There are nine tuples uh, with the class label yes, and there are five tuples, remaining five tuples uh, with the class label. 5. So, once we substitute the values and simplify this solve this equation, then we will get the guinea index 0 0.459. Then we have to find out the guinea index of each attribute. That is to find the splitting criteria for the tuples in the D, we need to compute the guinea index for each attribute. So, for example, let us take the income, income attribute and this is the subset low and medium low and uh, medium so then so then we are going to calculate this guinea index here so that is that would be expressed in terms of like the each partition like there are 10 10 samples out of a 14 in one partition and the remaining four those are with uh, no and that would be partition into another set that is d2 so here then we'll simplify again we have to find out the guinea of d1 so guinea of d1 that we already discussed the what is the equation need to be used to calculate this so then we substitute the values in this among this uh, 10 uh, tuples there are seven tuples uh, belongs to the one class and the remaining three tuples are belongs to the another class so similarly the second partition that means the second partition means where the the income is low and medium and that the class label is no let us say so there are four tuples out of 14 tuples so among these four tuples again 
there are two tuples with the class label yes and two tuples with the class label no so that is equal to 0 0.443 so then this is a, a guinea index of d based on the attribute that is equivalent to 0 0.443 which is also equivalent to the guinea index of uh, attribute income with subset the attribute set is uh, equal to high so this is the way we, we use the guinea index information gain and the gain ratios so let us uh, quickly summarize uh, what we discussed about uh, the information gain guinea index and gain gain ratios the information gain that is the attribute with the highest information gain is uh, chosen as a splitting uh, attribute for the node so which minimizes the information that is need to classify the tuples and it minimizes the expected number of tests also that is need to classify a given tuples whereas gain ratio it differs from the information gain which measures the information with respect to the classification that is acquired based on the same partitioning whereas guinea index it is quite different from this both uh, guinea gain in ratio and gain information gain so it is mainly used for discrete value attribute that means the subsets that gives the minimum guinea index for that attribute is selected as a splitting attribute so the attribute that maximizes the reduction in impurity that is uh, selected as the splitting attribute so thank you all for watching so next video we are going to discuss naive base classification methods so thank you